bookworm, right? Yeah, and Penelope said... I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Take long. God damn drunk horse. You pay no attention. Now stuff's so over. Damn it. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? I guess. Thank you, sir. Boss gonna be sore about this tomorrow. <laughs>
Okay then, girl. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Well, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about... Morning, Arthur. Morning. When are we eating, Pearson?
What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. 